Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel. Howdy y'all. So today I am going to be doing a hard floor cleaning, washing, waxing demonstration using a number of products and also a couple of machines. So a little while ago, I just finished doing the demonstration of the Shark Duo Clean Autoflex. Uh, so the floor is vacuumed up, it's nice and clean. I've put the chairs up out of the way. I haven't put the chairs up on the other side of the table because nah. um, But the floor is pretty much clean, the mats up, the dog, everything's up, okay? Basically apart from the chairs. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to wash it with the Bissell Crossway first of all. And I'm going to be using the proper stuff. So this is the Bissell Multi-Surface Floor Cleaning Formula for wood, area rugs and tiles. Great for cleaning all sealed hard floors and area rugs. Um, normally I just use a couple of drops of flash, literally a couple of drops of flash, but today I thought push the boat out and let's do the Bissell product. So I'm going to use that in the Bissell Crosswave. Now I've done this before using another floor wax, which was this one, which was the Astonish uh, for wood, po uh, wood polish, wood floor polish. Super concentrated on sealed wood floors, easy to rinse formula, non-slip uh, shine tangerine and cinnamon and it really does smell quite nice it's not overpowering but it does smell nice it smells fresh so i've done a video on this one so if you want to go back check and see because there is a full video of me cleaning the floor on this and this stuff is brilliant now there's another polish that i bought ages ago and i decanted it into a spray bottle so i could spray on on the floor and then rub it in I hadn't used it and I cannot find the spray bottle anywhere I have searched high and low in every cupboard I really don't know where that has gone so I have just got the container now this is half empty because I poured half of it into the um, spray bottle so that's why it is empty this is called anti quax liquid wax floor polish for all wooden floors a sense of tradition, anti-wax, uh, anti-quax liquid floor polish is a high quality wax suitable for all types of wooden and parquet flooring, blah, blah, blah. Gives a long lasting high gloss finish. It can be used with low speed mechanical buffing machines. Uh, apply sparingly with a clean dry cloth, work in uh, with the grain, Blah, 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 joints, don't leave any access before allowing it to dry, polish off in the normal manner, blah, 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 blah. So what we need to do with this one is actually properly, properly buff it off. Whereas with the Astonish one, literally when it's dry, it's done. You don't need to do anything to it. It just dries to a shine. It is amazing. It's mega cheap. And I can highly recommend this for laminate flooring, hard flooring. Very, very good. The tiles as well, I guess. Um, well, it does say wood floor polish. So maybe it's not suitable for tiles. It doesn't say anything about tiles on there. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to be using this anti-quax one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I said, bissel the floor. So I'm going to get the bissel ready and do it in fast forward because I really don't want to bore you to tears. But we will bissel cross wave this floor clean. Okay, so the cross wave is all set up with this warm water and the proper multi-surface product in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half, this will all be in fast forward, but we'll do half, bissel half of it, I'll move the camera and we'll bissel the rest.
So the floor is all washed, lovely and clean and smells really nice. That product does smell lovely, I have to say, and does a really good job. So what we're going to do now is just leave it dry and then come back to it once that's done. The floor is now nice and dry and looks very clean. I'll show you in a second. So what I've got is my kind of like uh, bobbly mop thing. That's what I use for spreading the um, floor polish on. So I'm going to use the same thing using this. I'm going to have to wet this a little bit more liberally because I can't find the spray bottle while I've been waiting for the floor to dry. I've still been looking for it and I genuinely have absolutely no idea where the bottle with the wax in it has gone. So uh, ideally you'd want to kind of like spray it on lightly and rub it in. So this, I don't know how it's going to go. So let's take a look at the floor. Okay, so that is now nice and clean. So I've got a nice clean base to work on. Um, that floor polish, uh, the floor liquid, washing the liquid for the Bissell Cross with the Bissell product is very good. I can't deny that. So we are starting on a nice clean base. And what I'm going to do now is start spreading the wax around and we can leave that to dry. So this floor wax is amazing. As you can see, it has gone down. Everything looks like glass. It's gone down very, very evenly. And it makes it look like new. So what we need to do now is to leave it to dry completely and then buff it off. But the smell of it smells like proper wax as well. Uh, we had wooden floors in Colombia. It's quite popular to have wooden floors and the wax you'd buy. As soon as I smell that, it took me back to um, the apartment I lived in in Colombia when um, Maria would wax the floors and the whole apartment would smell of that smell. It smells fantastic and as you can see, it just looks like new. It's wonderful stuff. So we will see how it performs once it's dry because it should. It's supposed to go to like a buff matte finish once it's dry and then we will use the Kirby G4 with its buffing tool and we'll see how that shine comes back once it's all dried. So I'm back in the kitchen and the wax is all dried, the floor is all buff. So what we're going to do now is to remove that and hopefully put a shine on it and we're going to be using my Kirby G3, sorry not the G4. Um, and it has got its buffing brush on as you can see there and as you can see it is quite matte. I'll just take a quick picture of that, there we go, boom boom boom. And we will start buffing it up and see how it looks. Okay, so I've got the Kirby all ready and this part here you can see is kind of dull. So I'm going to pass it back and forth a couple of times just to see if you can see a difference. Okay, uh, so as you can see, yes, there is a big difference. And if I come down, you can see 
where it is shiny to where it is buff where I haven't buffed it off yet but yes that definitely makes a big 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 difference so I'm going to do the rest of the floor and because it's going to take quite a while I'm going to do you in fast forward time lapse because you'll be bored to tears so I'm going to there we go reposition you and move you back squeeze me and let's start buffing Okay, so we're on the last little patch of the waxing, so, uh, sorry, the buffing, so I thought I would just do it in real time. <laughs>
that is everything buffed off. Doesn't take too long, I have to say. So let's take a look at the floor. The area here where it was very, very white, that brought some of the colour back to it. It's still a bit smudgy in places. I think I may have put it on a bit too thick in places. Um, but this is the first time this has ever had any type of like proper wax on and it's definitely made it, it's really nice to walk on, it's really nice and soft to walk on, it's got a really nice shine to it. What I'll do tomorrow is, once it's had like a little bit more time to dry, I'll run the Kirby over the whole thing again, um, I won't pull everything up, but I'll run the Kirby over the areas just to bring a bit more of the shine up to it once it's had a bit more time to dry. But I do like that wax, it smells really nice, the memories it's bringing back is incredible. Ah, very nice. And my Kirby G3, it's so amazing, a carpet fluffing and also floor polishing, it is a real godsend I have to say. So there we go, that was the antique wax floor uh, liquid wax floor polisher for all wooden floors this is not wooden this is laminate but it really needed something because it was looking very 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 dull so what I'll do tomorrow I'll give it another buff once you start waxing your floor um, you don't have to do it that often but it does keep the wood in a very very good condition it, it really genuinely does so anyway there we go that is today's video I hope you've enjoyed that I certainly am pleased with the results and it's nice to see the Kirby G3 doing something different apart from vacuum cleaning um, to actually see a buff in the floor. So please comment, like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye y'all.